Today I'd like to show you this satellite TV splitter that's a little different from splitters you'll find in most stores. This has power passing for DC voltage, but only on a single port. With this splitter, you can connect up to four receivers to a single satellite dish LNB. And while all the outputs let RF signal pass through, only one port allows for DC voltage passing back and forth between the LNB and the receiver for polarity switching. And because of that, this splitter does have some limitations. So let's set one up and take a look. Now, one thing you should always do before you do any work or disconnect anything in your satellite TV system is always unplug all of the receivers from the wall outlets because there is voltage running through the coaxial cable. You run the risk of shorting something out and possibly damaging any splitters or switches connected in your system or your LNB or even worse, damaging your receiver. So unplug everything before you do anything. Okay, I've got the splitter connected here and the dish I have coming into this splitter is my 39 inch dish which is aimed at satellite 103 West KU band. The power passing port is connected to the receiver in my living room and that will become the control receiver in this setup, passing DC voltage back to the LNB to control polarity. Now I have two other receivers connected here to these output ports, which only pass RF signal, not DC voltage. So these will be follower receivers. So now we'll go over to the receivers and see how this setup behaves. So a little learning moment here. I realized by connecting all of the receivers to the splitter straight away that I was not able to run a blind scan on the follower receivers because there's no DC voltage passing back and forth between the receiver and the LNB. So that means that you're not able to run a proper blind scan for channels with those receivers. So what I ended up having to do is disconnecting the splitter and connecting each of my follower receivers to the dish directly, run a blind scan to get those channels in, and then everything worked out fine. All right, I got everything connected again, so now we can see how this is gonna work. And here's the control receiver in my living room, and I have it tuned to Cozy TV. You can see the transponder index there. It's a horizontal transponder. We're getting a good signal, so now we'll go and check the other receivers and make sure that they are tuning in horizontal channels. All right, we're getting a signal on that horizontal transponder for Cozy TV. Now if we switch to a vertical transponder, no signal. And on our third receiver, horizontal signal is there. Moving to our vertical transponder now. Signal disappears. And moving back into the living room, switching our control receiver to a vertical transponder. The signal comes in on our other receivers. The only receiver that has to have LNB power switched on is your control receiver, the one that is connected to your power passing port. And you don't have to worry about the other receivers, whether the voltage is switched on or off. It doesn't matter because the other ports block the passage of DC voltage and only let the RF signal through. And they'll only receive the channels on the same polarity that your control receiver is tuned to. So a couple of takeaways about these single power passing port splitters. Number one, you're going to have to run a blind scan prior to connecting all of your follower receivers to these splitters because of the DC voltage block on most of the ports. Without that, you won't be able to run a proper blind scan. And the second thing is I also noticed that these splitters do not play nice with dissect switches. Again, has to do with the DC voltage block. So if you're just looking to get a few channels on some extra receivers or TVs in your house, then one of these splitters might work for you. I think these splitters would best be used in a single LNB with a single dish type setup. And just remember on the follower receivers, you're only getting 
horizontal or vertical channels, but that depends what your control receiver is tuned to. But if you're looking to get a full complement of satellite channels, both horizontal and vertical on all your receivers, you'll have to explore other options, but those are best saved for another video.